Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you a tool that I created in order to allow me to annotate the rotation angles of the irises of MMD models. So we have the tool over here. And the first thing to remember is that uh, for using the model, we need to specify eight angles. And this is because there are two eyes. There are also two axes in which we can rotate the iris around the x-axis and the y-axis. And there are two directions in which we can rotate the iris, the positive direction and the negative directions. And this makes for 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8 angles. So let's start with the right x negative angle. And I can focus on that one by pressing 1. And also, let's try to zoom in on the right eye so that our job is a little easier. Uh, to specify this angle, I can right click. And after I right click, I can drag my mouse pointer around. And you can see that the iris is basically moving up and down following my uh, mouse pointer. And if I want to specify a value, I can left click. And you can see that the slider actually freezes and it records the value over here. And I can right click again to actually edit the value. Now, for the negative x rotation, I need to make sure that the top part of the iris touches this particular line. This is like the, what is it, the second line from the top. Right. So I'm done with this one now. And then after I'm done with this, I can go to the other eye and then do the same thing. But since the left eye and the right eyes are uh, symmetric, uh, I can actually go back uh, to the right eye and then press Q to actually copy the value from the right eye to the left eye. Right? This is pretty convenient. Now, here we are at the uh, positive X rotation. And for the positive angles, we need to make sure that the bottom part of the iris touches the second line from the bottom. Right, so we're done with this one now, and then we can copy this to the other side as well. So as you can see here, we're now done with the four x-axis rotations. So let's do the y-axis, which is down here. And uh, when you actually try to edit the value, right, uh, you can see that the iris uh, is moving uh, horizontally. And for the negative angle, we need to make sure that the leftmost part of the iris actually hit, um, which line is it? The uh, first, second, third, fourth. This is the fourth line uh, from the left. Now, I can press Q again, and this will copy this value to the right mirroring side, which is this one, right? And you can see that um, this one is good as well because it hits uh, the uh, rightmost part of the iris, uh, touches the fourth line uh, from the right. So what's remaining is basically this one over here. And I need to move this so that um, it the leftmost part of the iris touches the fourth line from the left as well. Okay, so this is good, and then I can copy the value yet again, right? And this is also, um, I need to edit this a one a little bit. Okay, this is good. So now we are done with this model, so let's move on to the next. Right, so same process here. Uh, start with um, the right x negative angle, drag the uh, iris down so that the top part touches this line, copy it to the other side. Now the positive angle, right here, I can also use the keyboard to actually adjust the value, um, like this. And this one goes here. Uh, no, this is not good, so let's edit it a little bit more and then copy it to the other side. Okay. And we do it here as well. 
the copy to the other side this one is a little more okay there's some asymmetry over here which needs to be resolved uh, manually so let's uh, try to do another model so that you can see the process do it three times here And then this one goes here, which is good. And this one goes here. Okay, here. And then you copy to the other side, which is um, needs some editing. Okay, this is good enough. So uh, once you get used to the tool, it becomes pretty fast. You can actually annotate. Um, pretty quickly okay let's do another one this one goes to this line and then you do it this one as well this one goes here so we're done with this model now. So um, this is basically how the tool works. And thank you for your attention. And I'll see you again.